Hey guys, Dmitry here with the Roofing Insights. I have a very special guest. You've probably seen his product all over Facebook, Instagram, everywhere on the internet. I have a founder of Equipter in my mini studio here at IRE. Hey Aaron, thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Um, my pleasure to have you here and uh, I truly, I'm a fan of your product. I don't have one, disclaimer, I don't have one. It's not endorsement, I'm not getting paid for any of this, but I just, when I love a product and I see the difference it makes and you know, everything behind it, like I wanna endorse. What we do at Roofing Insights, we just recommend good products we believe in. So tell us about your story, like how Equipter came all about. You, you own a roofing company in the past, I heard. Exactly, exactly. Thank you so much for, uh, for having me. And yes, uh, as uh, was mentioned, I owned a roofing company uh, and was roofing for 17 years uh, without the Equipter. And if you're a roofer listening, why you know the hassles, uh, the problems that you have. Uh, the challenges that you meet on a daily basis and so I was like every other group for working hard making good money but I uh, got talking to my sons like look there's got to be a better way for debris management so after 17 years of roofing just the uh, old school way I started thinking and then we developed uh, the equipter uh, and uh, it revolutionized uh, our company really did uh, we started getting jobs because of it because homeowners were impressed Absolutely. and we were able to be a lot more efficient and so we started making money two ways growing our company because homeowners were extremely impressed and then the other thing is is uh, we were able to complete more jobs uh, usually the guys say you can complete about uh, 25 percent more efficiency so we did probably an extra 25 square roof you say 25 square a week and so that's an extra you know 80 100 square a week that we were able to complete. So, so the business started because you have demand because other people started saying hey we wanted to and uh, did you retire your roofing business uh, yes after we started building the equipter I think uh, five years later uh, it was being so, so successful I said okay let's focus on this uh, new business which was at that point manufacturing the equipter and so uh, I left uh, my roofing company go to one of the employees that was there for 20 years a great employee and so he took over the company and uh, we focused I focused with my sons on expanding the equipment and it's been very very exciting for us to see what it's doing in the roofing industry uh, it's been really exciting awesome well I've seen a lot of your videos a lot actual manufacturing videos looks like the quality is there is amazing you you know I've seen marketing videos, but I also have seen just the process behind the scenes. So, what do you do right now? You run a business. I know it's a different business, but you're still an entrepreneur. And I even see you here at the show, like trying to micromanage everything. So, you, you're like hands on guy, don't you? Well, my story is actually quite interesting, I think. I was uh, probably uh, a lot of people not aware of this, but I was raised as an Amish boy. Okay, so I was raised without electricity, without TV, without any technology and uh, was Amish, got married uh, at the age of 19, uh, expecting to be Amish the rest of my life. That was my religion. Those of you that don't know about the Amish, it's a, a religion without electricity. And, and so I had a, an experience with Jesus Christ. He changed my life. And so after I left the Amish because of that experience, uh, I was looking for, okay, what am I gonna do now uh, in my career? Because I was farming on my father-in-law's farm. And so I started roofing. At that point, I was roofing for $19 a square, putting on shingles uh, on new houses. Eventually, I started tearing off uh, house roofs and was doing that for, again, probably 15 years of tear-offs. And uh, at that point, I, Invented the equipter. Okay, a little bit about myself. I'm now a pastor of a church, and so I travel overseas some to uh, mini uh, missionary ministry work and uh, have a family. Uh, they're all married now, but have six children, 14 grandchildren. And so I'm kept quite busy. And the UK is working for you, correct? I have my four sons and my two sons in law. Uh, the whole family is in the company. So that's family what really said. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Well, it's a great story. And uh, guys, for those of you, if you even thinking about it, I know it's a big investment. I know it's probably the biggest tool you'll buy for your business. Uh, I don't have it. I have different reasons for it. But even my company right now, this year, we're planning to get one. Uh, but uh, if you're thinking about it, don't think twice. Give them a call. Highly recommend it. Thanks for your time, sir. And, uh, Thank you. We appreciate your attention. Thank you very much.